Okay, so we are back again as we have studied a little bit of energy right watt hour. So, one different example then again we will go to the circuit theory just to give you some uh, you know some ideas regarding energy the right. For example, uh, like this is example uh, 1.12 that is example 12 the residential consumer consumes 800 kilowatt hour in the month of March right. Determine the electricity for the month using the following following rate schedule right. For example, base monthly charge is rupees 12 first 100 kilowatt hour per month at rupees 1.5 per kilowatt hour say next 200 kilowatt hour per month at rupees 2 per kilowatt hour and over 200 kilowatt hour per month at rupees 2.5 kilowatt hour right. Now, we have to calculate the electricity bill. So, base monthly charge is rupees 12 now 100 kilowatt hour at rupees 1.5 per kilowatt hour therefore, 100 kilowatt hour at rupees 1.5. So, 100 into 1.5. So, it is rupees 150. Then n next 200 kilowatt hour per month rupees 2 per kilowatt hour. So, it is uh, your next 200 kilowatt hour at rupees 2. So, it is 2 into 200. So, rupees 400. Now, total is total is your 800 kilowatt hour. Now, here it is 100 plus 200 300 kilowatt hour already we have computed rupees 150 and 400 remaining will be 500 kilowatt hour because 800 minus 100 minus 200. So, remaining 500. So, 500 kilowatt remaining 500 kilowatt hour will be at rupees 2.5. So, it is given 2.5 per kilowatt hour. So, rupees 2.5 per kilowatt hour. So, 500 into 2.5. So, rupees 1250, but monthly base charge is rupees 12. So, plus 150 plus 400 plus rupees 1250. If you add up all total charge will be rupees 1812, uh, 1, right. Now, total total your what you call uh, annual your residential energy is consume 800 kilowatt hour. So, if you take the average, so average cost per k this thing will be a rupee your rupees 1812 divided by 18 800 kilowatt hour. So, that comes approximately on an average rupees 2.265 per kilowatt hour. This is a simple example because we have taken you know, that energy we are talking of. So, just P into your time power into time right. Uh, one uh, before going to the next example one sometimes we call in, in English rhyme that energy is power multiplied by multiplied by hour uh, rather I can put in better way that electrical energy is power multiplied by hour right. So, that is kilowatt hour because kilowatt is the power and hour is the time. So, next is uh, th this is a simple example I took for you. So, hope it is it is understandable very simple thing right. Next example 13. So, you have to determine the power absorbed or supplied by each component of the component of the circuit as shown in figure 19. This is figure 19. This is one electrical element is 5 volt is given plus minus it comes in it actually either supplied or absorbed we will see later that a P power P 1 this is a voltage source. Right, this is at this is another dependent voltage source, and this is another another source is there. Only terminal plus minus three volt is given. So we have to find out that power absorbed or supplied by each of the source. Now look, this eight ampere current. This is the eight ampere current. It is enter first. You let us start from this uh, from uh, your this element, whose have voltage across it is five volt. Right. So and power uh, we have to find out P one is the power supplied or absorbed. So, this 8 ampere current actually this current actually come leaving the plus terminal right. Leaving the plus terminal means it is it is uh, your what you call sign will be negative and power supplied actually right. Because this 8 ampere if you look at the direction of the current this 8 ampere current actually leaving the plus terminal. So, P 1 will be your minus 5 into 8 minus 40 watt that is supplied look at that that 8 ampere current is out of the plus terminal everything I have written for you, but I am explaining it. So, P 1 will be 5 into minus 8. So, minus 40 watt. So, power supplied right. So, P 1 is the power supplied. Now, this 8 ampere current is entering into the positive terminal. Whenever it enters into the positive terminal means the source actually is absorbing power. So, in this case it is 2 volt and 8 ampere. So, P 2 will be 8 into 2 16 watt that is power absorbed. 
So, if you look into that 8 ampere current is entering the plus terminal of P 2. So, P 2 will be 2 into 8 so 16 watt power absorbed right. Now, next is the 3 ampere now here in here it is now this 8 ampere current 3 ampere is going here 5 ampere is going here. Now, this is a dependent voltage source. Now, you see that this is 0 0.6 i and this is 5 ampere. So, if you if you multiply 0 0.6 into i it will be 3 ampere uh, just hold on. So, if it is it is your 0 0.6 i. So, it will be 0 0.6 i i is equal to here it is 5 ampere. So, it will be 0 0.6 into 5. So, it will be 3 volt that means volt volt for i is equal to 5 ampere voltage of the dependent your dependent voltage source it is actually is equal to 3 volt right 3 volt. Now, this 3 ampere current is entering into the your what you call positive terminal. So, power is being absorbed. So, it will be 3 ampere into 3 volt. So, P 3 will be 3 into 3 9 watt that is absorbed right. So, in the just hold on. So, in this case so, so, uh, so in this case your so if you see that P three is equal to your 0 0.6 into 5 I told you th that is 3 volt into 3 ampere. So, 9 watt power absorbed right. So, next is next is this 5 ampere this 5 ampere current entering into the positive terminal right. That means, as entering into the positive terminal means it is power absorbed. So, it will be P 4 will be 5 ampere into 3 volt. So, 15 watt. So, P 4 will be 3 into 5 that is 15 watt power absorbed. So, power supplied is it is taken minus 40 watt and your power absorbed here is 16 watt here it is 9 watt. So, 16 plus 9 25 here it is plus 15. So, 40 watt. So, power supplied is minus uh, minus sign indicates power supplied. So, supplied is 45 40 watt and absorb is also 40 watt. So, perfectly matching. So, now absorb as uh, your power supplied and power absorb I hope this thing is clear to you now right. Next is another example. Now, this is actually state which interconnection in figure uh, 20 are valid and which are invalid. You have to tell there are four connections that which connections are valid and which connections are in connections are invalid. Now, take this connection 1 here the this terminal 1 and terminal 2. So, across terminal 1 2 that a voltage source is connect V is equal to 5 volt. Now, when v and across 1 2 also a dependent voltage source is connected V s is equal to 4 V. So, if you put 5 V your V is equal to 5. So, V s will be 4 into 5. So, 20 volt. But across the your, it is your across the say your uh, 1 to the same terminal you cannot connect to different voltage source. So, this is an invalid connection. So, this is invalid connection. Now, if you come to this one here V is equal to 5 volt and I s is equal to 2 into V. So, I s V is 5 volt. So, I s basically 2 into 5 that means your 10 ampere. So, it is a it is a valid valid circuit connection right. Even voltage source is there one dependent current source. So, this is a valid connection, so, but this is this is invalid connection. Now, here if you come here a current source is given I s is equal to 2 ampere, but a dependent voltage source V s is equal to 4 I s, but this I s is equal to 2 ampere. So, V s is equal to 4 into 2 8 volt. So, it is a current source, it is a dependent voltage source they are in series actually later we will see that. So, it is a valid connection this is a valid connection and they are connected they are connected across terminal 1 2. So, it is a valid connection. Now, this one a current source is there I s is equal to 3 ampere and a dependent current source is there where I x is equal to 3 into I s. Now, when I s is equal to all I am not writing I am telling from my mouth I think it is understandable to simple thing. So, I x I s is equal to 3 ampere. So, I x I is equal to 3 into 3 so 9 ampere, but this is 3 ampere and this is coming 9 ampere. So, it is not possible right. So, this is an invalid circuit. So, this circuit this one invalid and this one is invalid and these two are valid circuit B and C are valid circuit connection and A and D these are invalid connections right. So, I hope it is understandable to you because the why I have taken this one such so as starting from the beginning we have to you know 
we have to know all these things because later stage we have to solve different type of problem. So, starting from the beginning we have to clear our you know ideas. So, so all these things I have written here, but later you can go through this uh, when you go through the video you can go through once, but I have explained that exactly what it is right. So, everything I have written here, but I have explained. So, not further uh, your what you call going through this. Now, this one now determine the power supplied or absorbed by each component in figure 20, 1.21, but I am telling 1.2 that is chapter 1, 21 figure. So, I am telling figure 21. So, here 1, 2, 3, 4, uh, 4 elements are there and current is I, this 10 ampere, this I actually is equal to 10 ampere. So, this this is I, this is your I right and this I is equal to actually 10 ampere. So, this I is equal to 10 ampere, this I, this I is equal to 10 ampere. Now, this this uh, your what you call this I 10 ampere, this is leaving the terminal this one, this 16 volt source just hold on, this uh, your this is a 16 volt source. So, 10 ampere current is leaving the terminal your what you call positive terminal. So, that means power supplied as is leaving this power this thing. So, this six, this is 16 volt source here and this is your uh, uh, sorry this is 16 volt and this is actually current current source plus minus this voltage across this is 16 volt. So, this is a current source. So, 10 ampere current it is entering into this your what you call this uh, negative terminal of 6 volt. So, this is a current source and voltage across this is 16 volt right this is a current source uh, I have overlooked actually it is a current source and this is a voltage uh, this is a voltage source this is a voltage source and this is a dependent current source. So, in this case uh, and across this voltage is 16 volt then first you have to find out P4, P4 is there P2 P, this is P1 this is actually P1 just hold on let me correct this this is actually your P1 this is actually your right this is p 1. So, just hold on. So, this is p 1 I have corrected that. So, now this current source ac now this current source. So, is actually supplying power because it is leaving this terminal so, P 1 will be is equal 6 it will be uh, minus 16 into 10. So, minus 160 watt. So, P 1 is equal to 16 into minus 10 minus this is power supply right. Now, next is if you look into this, this 10 ampere current entering the negative terminal other way actually it is leaving the current leaving the plus terminal because this is entering a minus terminal ok, but because either entering minus terminal or leaving the plus terminal that means, 6 volt also it is supplying power because this is the direction of the current if current is flowing this direction. So, basically this current entering into the minus terminal leaving the plus terminal. So, P 2 actually the source actually or what you call it is supplying power. So, it will be minus sign right. So, in that case P 2 will be 6 into minus 10 minus 60 watt power supplied. So, this is see your 6 into minus 10. Uh, this is the 10 ampere current current source is there current source supplying 10 ampere current here this current is 10 ampere. So, it is minus 60 watt. Now, next is this 6 ampere another uh, 6 ampere current entering into this 22 volt source. So, it is it is entering into the positive terminal. So, as it is entering into the positive terminal means this uh, this voltage source actually this source actually is absorbing this uh, absorbing power. So, it will be P 3 will be 22 into say 6. So, it will be 132 watt. So, P 3 will be your 22 into 6 132 watt. So, power absorbed right. Next is that this is your another your dependent uh, current source. So, here your what you call here 0.4 I. So, I is equal to 10 ampere just hold on I am writing for you. So, 0.4 I. So, this is your uh, 0.4 and I is equal to 10. So, this is actually 4 volt right this is 4 volt and this one your this is actually plus terminal this is minus terminal right. So, 
this is uh, this actually this is a uh, this is an wire this is a wire only this is wire only so plus minus means here it is plus here it is minus that means here it is plus here it is minus and this is plus actually this is minus that means the direction of the current is this way so that means current is actually entering into the positive terminal that means this source this dependent current source actually absorbing power i hope i understand i hope your understanding will be clear look this is plus minus that means this is plus this is minus and this this uh, your current direction is this way so this plus this is plus minus means this is also plus this is also minus and this is the direction of the current that means current is entering into the positive terminal because this is positive terminal that means this source and this here it is your what you call here it is uh, this is your current source sorry this is 4 into 10 it is uh, your 4 ampere sorry it is current source so it is 4 ampere right uh, it is uh, uh, 4 ampere sorry right so this is uh, this is your 4 ampere now what is the voltage so no other electrical element is there so across this across this current source the voltage is also 22 volt because here it is across this it is 22 volt so same voltage will be improved impressed across this your your this uh, your dependent current source so this is actually your 4 ampere so that means 20 22 into 4 the power absorbed by this source will be 88 watt so if you if you just just hold on so i am i am uh, deleting this one right just hold on right so so if you come to this that is your this is your actually this is p4 so this is actually your p4 is equal to look 22 into that 0.4 into 10 4 ampere so 88 watts so power absorbed now if you add 132 and your 88 this is power absorbed whatever it will come 220 or so right and if you see the power supplied it is 160 minus and minus 60 so minus 220 so it is exactly matching so this way you have to understand i i hope you have understood this because no other element so whatever 22 volt is there that will be impressed across this dependent current source and i is equal to your 10 ampere so it is 4 into i so 4 ampere and voltage across this your dependent current source is 22 volt so 22 into 4 because whatever volt i told you just now that showing polarity sign so so this way you can i mean just you have to just we have to your what you call we have to clear our concept about all these things then only we can we can solve things easily so there should not be any any path for confusion or anything even when i am writing also one or two places i am overlooking your what you call overlooking on this but is a current source it will be 4 ampere so by mistake i wrote 4 volt so it is uh, your what you call i overlook this so this is your 4 ampere so i hope it is understandable to under, understandable to you right so next one you look so right so next one is uh, this is uh, these are very small thing uh, but very tricky uh, when you are starting your uh, learning this course so if you clear your if you clear our concept about this you will find things are very interesting in the latter stage right so for example figure 22 shows a circuit diagram determine the power supplied or absorbed by the voltage source for first one it is given v is equal to 1 volt and i is equal to 2 ampere you have to find out the power supplied or absorbed by the voltage source that means this voltage source right so first one is given v1 is equal to 1 volt and i is equal to 2 ampere so when i is equal to 2 ampere right when i is equal to 2 ampere so i is equal to 2 ampere right 2 ampere and this is the this is the direction of the current this is the direction of the current that means the current actually flowing like this that means this current actually entering into this uh, your uh, uh, your uh, plus terminal that means the voltage source actually this is uh, actually it absorb power because it is entering into the positive terminal that means but voltage is 1 volt so v is equal to it is given for this case 1 volt and i is equal to is given your 2 ampere 2 ampere so it will be 2 into 1 that is 2 watt power absorbed by the voltage source so here i have so this is actually uh, just hold on 
I, so, I am rubbing this, so it will be power absorbed by the voltage source. So, just hold on, right. So, so this one your this is the 2 watt the power absorbed. Now, next one it is given look that V is equal to 6 volt, but I is equal to minus 4 ampere. So, in this circuit I am I am drawing it again for your understanding it is that case B this is that for this case this is case B. So, V is equal to 6 volt, but your current is I is equal to minus 4 ampere that means the direction of the current will be reverse. So, that means, if I if I for your uh, understanding if I draw it like this if I draw it like this that because I is equal to minus 4 showing this direction. So, I am making this arrow this direction and this is your voltage source voltage is 6 volt. So, V is equal to 6 volt second case it is in the second case V is equal to 6 volt and I is minus 4 ampere this direction that means, this direction I is equal to I can write positive 4 ampere and this current actually is flowing like this it is flowing like this flowing like this. That means, the current actually leaving the voltage terminal because it is direction is like this. So, basically the current actually leaving the your plus terminal that means, your power power will be your I is given 4 ampere and voltage is 6 volt. So, P it, is, it, it will be 24 watt but it is leaving the plus terminal that means, power supplied. So, minus 24. So, power supplied by the voltage source right. So, th that so let me let me clean this one again I will be back to you right. So, just hold on. So, if you come to this if you come to this your this is your P is equal to V i power supplied the second case. Right. Now, third case it is given that V is equal to minus 12 volt and I is equal to minus 16 ampere. So, in this case just for your understanding again I will draw the for the case C. So, this is your K, uh, just hold on this is your case C it is V is equal to minus 12 and I is equal to minus 16 ampere. So, what you can do the easiest way rather than complicating the uh, thing. So, this is my current source right as I is equal to minus 16 ampere. So, uh, direction of I is given. So, this is the positive direction I is when I is positive this is the direction is given which is minus 16 means you just you just make the arrow downwards right and uh, and this one your voltage also voltage source also it is given minus 12 volt. So, this one if you make minus and this is like plus. So, that means, voltage is equal to you can write 12 volt and this is your I, I is equal to you write your 16 ampere. What I did for your understanding as V is equal to minus 12 volt, I have reversed the direction of the current because it is sorry I is equal to minus 16 ampere. So, I have reversed the direction of the current and V is equal to minus 12 volt. So, I have reversed the polarity. So, that means, the current is flowing in this direction current is flowing in this direction. That means, the current actually entering into the positive terminal of the voltage source. That means, it is absorbing power. So, P will be equal to your 16 into 12 watt this power it is being absorbed by this voltage source because it is entering into the positive terminal right. So, it will be actually 192 watt right. So, I hope you have got it this right. So, we make things simpler way better we should not make the thing complicated way. So, make the thing simplest way such that you will understand each and everything ok. Then now let me clean this one. So, that is why all calculation I have made this power absorb 192 watt everything is here, but uh, everything I am trying to make it for you. Then this figure this is example 17. Now, figure 27 shows a circuit diagram determine P 1 and P 2 where I is equal to 4 ampere and I is equal to minus 3 ampere right. So, when I is equal this is a this is a your dependent voltage source this is a dependent voltage source and first case is I is equal to 4 ampere. So, the first case that I equal to 4 ampere right and it is a dependent voltage source. So, this it is 2 I. 
So, here voltage will be 2 into your 4 because first case this case it is I is equal to 4 ampere. So, in this case what will happen that this is your 2 into 4 this is volt that means it is 8 volt right and this I is equal to 4 ampere this current actually entering into the positive terminal of this dependent voltage source. That means your that means this for I this I is equal to 4 ampere first leaving this voltage leaving this plus terminal that means only leaving the plus terminal that means voltage P 1 that is the 8 volt source it is actually supplying power. So, this when it is leaving the plus terminal it will be minus and voltage is V is equal to 8 into I is equal to your 4 ampere this is the 4 ampere. So, minus 4 so minus 4 so this will be minus 32 watt right this is the power supplied right this is power supply. Now, the another thing is this current is entering into the dependent voltage so the plus terminal that means this source actually absorbing power. So, here it is 8 volt and 4 ampere current is entering because I is equal to 4. So, it will be P 2 will be is equal to 8 into 4 so 32 watt. So, this is actually power absorbed right. So, hope uh, this this uh, this thing is uh, totally clear to you. So, so uh, let me let me clean this. Right. Second case, second case I is equal to minus 3 ampere. Just tell me one thing. This one, second case, this one please do not read. I, I am striking it off, right. Second case, uh, your this one the second case this do not read here it is that calculation here it is wrong this do not read I will explain what exactly this one you should not read the second case. Second case I am explaining on this your what you call on uh, that on the problem itself just hold on. So, this you should not read for the second case right. So, now I am going back to that problem let me let me uh, clean this. Ah. So, just hold on. So, second case your I is equal to your minus 3 ampere. Now, what will happen if I is equal to minus 3 ampere? So, what I will do? I will redraw this circuit. So, in this case, ah, just hold on. so in this case that I is equal to minus 3 ampere. So, what I will do? this is dependent voltage source this is plus minus this is your sorry this is your voltage source this is plus this is minus 8 volt source this is the current source right and as it is I is equal to minus 3 ampere. So, a direction is upward so as it is minus 3 so we are taking this direction say I is equal to 3 ampere and this is my 8 volt and this is your 2 I right this is dependent voltage source. Now, in this case here it will be 2 into 3 that is, is equal to 6 volt right. Now, this is 8 volt. So, if you look into that that uh, this this 3 ampere current actually if current is moving like this moving like this. So, 3 ampere current is this is actually P 1 and this is your P 2. So, in this case 3 ampere current entering into the your what you call positive terminal of this voltage source. So, that means the power absorbed by this voltage source this is P 1. So, P 1 will be is equal to 8 volt into that 3 is equal to 24 watt right 24 watt. So, this is power absorbed. Now, and in this case for dependent voltage source this actually leaving the plus terminal. So, P 2 will be negative power supply and P 2 will be is equal to your this is six, this is minus uh, minus sign power supplied. So, it is 6 volt 2 into 3 dependent voltage of 6 volt it is 6 into this 3. So, it is minus 18 watt this is actually what you call the power supplied by the this is absorbed and this is minus sign means power supplied. So, if you add this 24 minus 18 algebraic sum so, 6 difference is there 
my question is to you power balance has to be met because absorbed power plus your uh, supplied power is equal to 0, but here it is 24 minus 18 6 watt. So, uh, difference is there where that power has gone. So, just hint is that you calculate I am not telling this source actually is supplying another 6 watt power right this current source then only it will match. So, you find out from where you will get this 6 watt this is an example this is a your what you call problem for you you should solve this one right. So, uh, they, uh, so I am uh, so this is the problem actually so whatever I have wrapped it there do not go through this is the problem. So, 6 difference is there I am telling you this current source actually supplying 6 watt, but you calculate from how 6 uh, that 6 watt you calculate from your side the how can you calculate that I will not tell here, but it is an exercise for you right. So, I am let me let me clean this. So, so do not see that one. So, now this one you have to tell which is uh, your what you call valid connection or which is invalid connection that is the thing. Look this is 1 to terminal. So, across this 10 volt this is also 10 volt. So, these two sources are connected actually in parallel later we will see. So, this is a valid connection right because 10 volt 10 volt valid connection. Now, here one 5 ampere uh, current source is there at 10 volt 10 another 10 volt both are connected across terminal 1 to absolutely no problem this is also a valid connection right these two are valid connection because any any across any terminal you can only connect the equal voltage source if there is a difference then that is invalid connection that is not possible and, a, and any current source and this voltage source this is also a valid connection. Now, this one across this terminal 1 to it is a 5 volt and it is a 10 volt it cannot be 2 cannot be different right it has to be same because they are connected across the same terminal. So, this is invalid connection similarly this one 2 ampere current uh, source another 5 ampere in the it is not valid because it is a simple circuit. So, this is invalid connection this is invalid connection because here it is 5 ampere here is 2 ampere it is not possible. So, because uh, 5 ampere 2 ampere cannot flow like this either either it has to be 2 or it has to be your what you call uh, this 5, but both the way we have connected it is invalid connection. Similarly, here also it is invalid connection. So, A B are valid connection C D are invalid connection. So, everything is written there everything is written there. So, just you will just you will go through. Now, these are all exercise. So, exercise 1 answers are given not reading again when you will uh, read this video you can pause and see this problem. So, uh, uh, your uh, 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 this problem 2. So, answers are given hope these all answers are correct you will solve it. Now, problem 3. So, this is uh, also your power absorbed power supplied problem right. So, all, all answers are given and problem 4 this is also given the total charge entering uh, the element this is also answers given. So, this is problem 5. So, you will do this all valid or invalid connections. So, you will solve this one right. So, this is one then uh, uh, and answer answers for everything answers for everything this is not valid for invalid connection it is actually uh, circuit inside the box absor absorbing or supplying power right. Everything is given you read this problem very carefully very carefully and do this A B C all the all the C D four connections are there accordingly we will make it answers are also given right. And problem 6 this is your voltage uh, uh, your voltage uh, 0 for the time varying voltage actually given. So, you have to find out the energy delivered the answer is given. So, uh, this is there are 5 connections here you have to see that uh, whether how many of them are valid or invalid right this there are 5 connections and all answers are given and this is also a time varying time varying we will see for AC circuit, but this is simply given you have to find out the energy the joule absorbed right. And this is another simple problem right you have to find out that call how that uh, you have to just uh, answer is given right that stove element this much when connected to this long does how long does it take to consume 30,000 joule. So, answer is given and this is the last one this is the current uh, time varying your what you call current is given right you have to find out total pass charge through the element right and these answers are given. 
So, everything is given. So, thank you very much. We will be back again.